My name is Lynn Ruan. I am a Trinity student, an activist, a single mother of two from Talla. I've spent many years being a strong advocate for equality and access, and I currently serve as the president of Trinity College's Students' Union. People always tell me, <clears throat> we need more people like you in the Shannon. But what does that mean, people like me? What's different about me? Is it who I am, where I come from, my accent? Is it what I'm saying? I think it's because people like me don't usually have a voice. As a child, I loved to learn. I had high hopes and aspirations. But something happens to children from underprivileged areas. As you move toward your teenage years, you begin to realise that your neighbours and parents, they aren't doctors or pilots. And that begins to shape what is expected of you. I became a mother at 15, and I was told I had wasted my life. I was a teenager, and yes, society wanted to talk about me in the past tense. But I was determined, and with the help of a community education programme for young mothers, I was able to continue my education, and I began a career in community and addiction work. When the recession hit, I was developing drug services in Bluebell. The community sector was decimated by cuts. I was completely helpless, voiceless, and struggling to articulate the groundbreaking work that was happening. I had no power and no platform to make them, those who make the decisions in this country, hear my pleas. I didn't have a voice and I needed to develop one. I knew I needed education. I needed to be able to speak the right language. In 2011, I rolled in Trinity through the Access Programme. And last year, I was elected president of the Students' Union, and I received a national platform. I've been on television, on radio, in the newspapers, and I've worked hard to use that platform to bring a national visibility to the issues affecting education in Ireland. But I have become a story. And the headline of that story is, a single mother from West Halle has managed to not only get into Trinity, but be elected to the Students' Union of the most prestigious university in the country. Now imagine what kind of world we would live in if that wasn't a story, if it wasn't a big deal. Although my journey was long and filled with obstacles, it's a success story. But it's a story that shouldn't be so exceptional that it captures so many headlines. This shouldn't be a story about me. I want to create a society where it's so normal that someone like me would run for the presidency of the Union or the upper house of the Oireachtas that nobody would bat an eyelid. That's what real equality of access looks like. There are walls around Trinity, and I'm not talking about the walls that make us on the inside feel safe. I'm talking about the walls that make the people on the outside feel like they can come in. Those walls aren't, nece walls aren't necessarily made of bricks and mortar. They are made of exclusion, of poverty, of social disadvantage. For some, these walls are made of financial barriers, of student debt or huge childcare bills. For others, it's the belief that they themselves hold that they can't come in. And for others, it's the fear that they will be kept out, found out, or told to get out, so why bother? I want to tear down those walls. I want everyone like me, who comes from a background like mine, to feel that they can access education and a better life. To be able to contribute to the conversation without having to fight. I want to create a society where everybody has equal access to public services, no matter their class, their income, or their beliefs. I want to live in an Ireland that values the power of education and doesn't let it remain at the bottom of the political agenda. I want to radically reform how politics is practised in this country to make it more representative of the diversity present in Irish society. And I think that's what Trinity graduates want too. Trinity has instilled in all its graduates the value of a world-class education. As a member of the Shannon, I will fight to ensure those same opportunities are afforded to all. Education is what gave me a voice. I want the voiceless to be heard. And I am more than just my story. That's why I'm running for the Shannon, and that's why I'm asking for your vote. Thank you.